everybody and welcome to Fiskars TV. I'm your host, Suzanne Walker, and today I'm excited to introduce the ever delightful Donna Downey. So sit back, relax, and get ready to craft with Donna. So Donna, you've turned tins into scrapbooks. Imagine that kind of cool. You can turn anything into a scrapbook. It's like a challenge for you. And you know, I do like the challenge. Yeah. I do, so I like to find things out there. And sometimes they're in the scrapbooking industry and sometimes they're not. In this case, they are. And they're kind of pre-printed. Okay. And what we did here is we turned a regular tin into an album. Look at that. Wow. So we're gonna, I'm going to show you how we did this. Okay. Normally, you'd say it's kind of really hard to punch a hole through tins, not with the Fisker's drill. I'm going to need your help again. Okay, I'll do it. I now, what so are these tins for, actually? What are, they, what are you supposed to do with them? Um, I believe these started out as were made for DVDs. Oh. And then now they're just made for people who, like me who like to destroy things like that and make them into albums. Okay. So they come patterned. Okay. Okay, if I can get the top back on. Uh-huh. I'm going to drill about right here. Okay. And I'm going to drill through both the top and the bottom with a lid on. Let's note again that you're drilling on a block, <laughs> a block of, of wood. wood. <laughs> yes, because you don't want to go through your tabletop. And even a mat will not protect your tabletop. Self-healing mats only so self-healing. That's right. Yes. Uh, let's see. Hopefully I went through. Voila. And if it doesn't go all the way through, give it a little turn. Now we're definitely in there. All right. Okay. So after you drill up a hole at the top and the bottom, you can set an eyelet in there. And that's what I've done on this tin here. I've just set eyelets in the front as well as in the back. Very nice. Gives it that finished look. It does. And then you're going to make some pages for it. And what I did is I just took, for this one, I took green cardstock. And I just cut it to size. And then I took my corner rounder and just rounded the corner so that it fit nicely inside of the tin. And then I thread my ribbon through. Very nice. Tied it up. The nice little pretty flower eyelet there. And I've got my album. And I want to show you one that I actually finished with some photos. And this one I made with your regular CD tin. This one I bought online at a place that sold it for business purposes. Oh. So it's just kind of cheap, so it was good. That's even better. And I set an eyelet in this one as well, in the front and in the back. And then I included my pages. And this is moments, this is about my daughter. And the pages flip through, it's about my daughter Peyton. And this actually hangs by her bed. Oh. And she likes me to read it to her every night. Oh, that's adorable. It says, Peyton, how is it that you grew up so fast? And it says, I'm Peyton Baby. In the back it just says some journaling about her and growing up and how it go, time goes by so fast. And I, again, just took my Fiskars cutter and I cut circle photos, added those to my page. Sweet. Oh, that's adorable. No wonder she likes for you to read it to her every yeah, night. Yeah, it's kind of her own little personal bedtime story. And then I just bound it all together with a ribbon, added a little tag, yeah, and voila. That's beautiful. Wow, thank you for sharing. Oh, thank you for having me. What great ideas you always have. Thanks for great products. Well, so now it's time for the episode giveaway. You know what I want to give away? Um, the drill. Yeah. Okay. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. You it's love green. it. They've got to have it. Got to have it. It's got to have it. Okay. And how about let's uh, give away a tape runner Perfect. to maybe attach some pictures or You're something. You're going to have to. Okay. And maybe a circle cutter. Perfect. Okay. All right. That's our episode giveaway. For your chance to win, click on the link. We'll see you next time on Fiskars TV.